Inside friends, it's me the man coming back at you again from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day, Monday morning edition. We give God all the praise and glory for life, health, and strength. For as well as it is, we give Him all the praise and we thank Him, cause it could have been the other way, people. Could have been gone this morning, but thank God we're still here. Also, we want to give a shout out to all the side of friends. You know who y'all from YouTube all the way to Blog Talk, End Time Harvest Gang as well. May the man just coming and greeting you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And i uh, got just a few words I want to say this morning. Matter. Nevertheless, we had a uh, good service on yesterday. And uh, we got to go up right back out again tonight uh, we were in another revival. Uh, my uh, third Sunday church from where I just attended on yesterday. We on program tonight. At another church and they are revival meeting you know we got to take charge and so you see it's, it's always about God's business and the revival of people is like the word says revive in other words for the Christian it's for the, it's for the believers revival meeting I tell people it's not for sinners revival meeting is for the believer and it's to rejuvenate rejuvenate to re-energize for the saint to go back on the battlefield of the Lord. And uh, I want to make a, a little statement here. And, uh, and I do not apologize. I do not apologize but for making the statement. But I must tell the truth. Uh, we had a very, very good Sunday school. And matter of fact, the pastor, the pastor, and I'm going to give credit to where credit is due. I can't help it. Because the word of God is plain. And no need for no guessing at it. It's straight, plain, and clear. Uh, Pastor Ham, David Ham, pastor of Pine Grove Missionary Baptist Church, and where we was attending Sunday school on yesterday. And uh, Pastor Ham was trying to get, he was trying to open up a can of worms to the church, to show the church where they need to be. And I knew exactly where he was going. But I knew also that it would raise eyebrows. I don't know what it is, but the body of Christ, some of us, we are so stingy. But we when it comes to others. But when we need when we get in need and we want got something that we need in our lives, we want everybody to pull out all the stops and roll out the red carpet when it comes to us pastor was trying to open that can of worms up very bad. I had to, normally I try not to say anything, but I could not hold my peace after that because I knew what he was trying to de deal with. And immediately, I all make, re make reference to the early church about how they had all things in common. They brought everything to the apostles, laid it at their feet, and there was a daily distribution made, and not anyone had any lack of anything, and everybody's needs were met. Immediately, the pastor got opposition. Well, the church is supposed to do. The church ain't supposed Why are we work so hard to keep from doing anything? I've never seen that so in my life. And this is how come we are so far behind as a people. And as the body of Christ, we are the one. We are supposed to be that light that shine on the hill. A city that cannot be hidden. <clears throat> if the people cannot come to the church, where can they go? That's what really Pastor Ham was trying to get everyone to see. But we knew, he knew he didn't have enough time to deal with it. But I knew exactly where he was coming from. And uh, that's how come I'm going to say what I got to say this morning on this camera. People, Jesus said we are the salt of the earth. And we were supposed to be lights. Not judges, but lights. I get a lot of different questions asked me from different places I go. Not that I'm no big time nobody. Me the man is nothing. Only in Christ that I claim to be anything. Only in Christ. But there's a many questions and be asked. Some of them decent questions. Some of them foolish questions. But nevertheless. And I always tell people this. And I'm going to say this here to everybody this morning that see this video. Don't busy yourself trying to answer stupid questions, folks. People, there are too many things in the body of Christ that needs to be done. Then for us to busy ourselves trying to be so smart 
and trying to be, you know, so particular about a one or two little given things. When there are more things more important, like salvation. When we get to arguing about who said this and what time of day it was when they said it, and this one said and changed this, and Mid America is not concerned about who changed or who didn't change. We got historians, we have archaeologists, all those people that go by and they they, they got the gift for that, and that's they that's what they do. And if they could dig up and f discover something that was from the ancient Phoenicians or whatever. Thank God for that. I'm glad. Look, read about it. Look at YouTube, study it, read it, and, and analyze it, and go on. But don't try to mix that mess up with the gospel. That don't have nothing to do with the gospel. The gospel is the good news that he died, and he rose, and he ascended. That's the good news. The good news that we can be saved. We don't have to die and go to hell. We can be saved. That's the good news. This is what we need to be telling people. And stop worrying about all this arguing over theology and trying to prove this one wrong and that one right. That don't make no sense. It doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you what matters. God is right. Point blank. God is right. Don't worry about who will say this on YouTube or Vimu or, what, or Hebrew or the Jews or the, the Gentiles said that the Jews wasn't right. And the Muslims said that the Arabs and the Muslims got together. And all that is all that is beside the point. Who could care less? We as the body of Christ need to be more concerned with soul winning. Telling people the good news of the kingdom. Jesus died for our sins. We don't have to go to hell. That's the good news. Who cares about what the book said? Let's worry about what God said. So. God is right, and everybody that don't believe like God is wrong. Period. Now, if you ain't coming to me with that, I don't want to hear nothing else. I mean, you ain't got to, you can email me, you can, you can say whatever. That's not going to move me at all, because only what God said in his word. If he said in his word, that's what I take face value. And all the other stuff, I look at it, I read it, I take it with a grain of salt, and go on. But I'm not going to get myself busy myself trying to argue theory and theology and, and trying to disprove one person over another and trying to make this one look bad because he said that and he had a PhD and this one did and he had a rake and a broom. No. <clears throat> Sometimes that person that with the cap and the, and the broom can tell you more or something than a person in a three-piece suit. You see, we got everything backward these days. We, 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 we look at status quo. We look at status quo. But the, this gospel of the kingdom shall have been preached throughout the world for a witness unto all nations, then shall, then come. In other words, by and by, by and by, when the morning come, when all the saints of God are gone together in the home, we'll tell the story how we overcome. We'll understand it better, by and by. But until then, people, we got to go through some things. We got to go on through some things. But remember, I read the end of the book, we win. Yes, sir, we win. So ain't no need to do it. Wasting your time, getting upset at people because they don't think like if, if all of us thought alike, somebody head is unnecessary. We we were not, we, we all are different. And I can, I don't know about you, but I can look at me, uh, YouTube, don't bother me. I can look at everybody's opinion and, and re go right on about my business and don't even say a word. But if I agree, I agree. If I don't, I hush. I don't. It, I don't have to argue. I don't have to. I don't have to defend the gospel. It, the, the gospel defends itself. But I'm telling you, he died Friday. That's another thing. People worrying about talking about what Sabbath day and what. That's. I don't care what it is. We don't keep. Some of us don't keep no days. In other words, we worried about so much about a Sabbath. Every day, to, every day should be a Sabbath to you. Not because with some of us it is a Sabbath because we don't do nothing. Every day is a Sabbath. We because we ain't we ain't involved in nothing. We ain't doing nothing. So some of us we take every day as a Sabbath. But what I'm saying is that beside the point. Let's get busy with kingdom building, telling the people about Jesus, not about us. 
because it ain't got nothing to do with us to a degree. But then again, if you turn that thing around, it, it had everything to do with us when it came to salvation. That's why Jesus came. Jesus came to die. People, how come we can't see that? Read your scripture. Jesus came to die. Did nobody take his life. He laid it down. And because he laid it down, he was able to pick it back up. I'm going to leave that alone for right now. But like I said, many men always tell you, whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God ain't in it, you need to come out of it. And I'm going to tell you, God is not in all this arguing over scripture and arguing over theology and trying to disprove this one and trying to beat that one up because they have a different point of view. Anybody can have a point of view. But I'm going to say it again and I'll say it again and I'm going to say it until Jesus comes. If God said it, that sells it. So in other words, you can't change what God says. So you need to go somewhere and sit down and just stop trying. Because if God said it, he meant exactly what he said. If he said it a thousand years ago, he meant it today. Because he said, I am the Lord and I change not. So, with that being said, we're just going to leave that alone right now. I'm going to say we're going to ask everyone to pray for each other. Pray for yourself. That God will, will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. And what is his will? For all of us to be shaped into the image of his son, Jesus Christ. So with that being said, let's be the light and the salt that he told us to be. With that all being said, may the man going to go on to the revival tonight. Y'all pray for your safe return. There and back. This is the man saying peace. Goodbye.